So hello, my friends, and we are back with a high boxing today. Now, this company, I have been testing their products for, I think, going on three years now, and they have come a long way. I mean, they started off good, but they just keep getting better and better, and they asked me if I wanted to try this beauty out. So this is probably one of the best ones I've ever gotten from them, and it's just for this reason and this reason alone. I love the stuff it says on their box. Brushless power, speeding for joy. That is the greatest statement I've ever seen on an RC vehicle ever. So this guy arrives, and it is the 4x4 race truck, brushless stadium truck. And it has four-wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz, aluminum body threaded oil shocks. That's nice. And they've really, really improved upon that they started off with the friction shocks in their trucks and a lot of them are moving on to the oil shocks which is awesome ball bearings splash proof and water splash waterproof electronics brushless motor and this thing is actually packed full of goodness so you get let me see clearing up here any i'll just read it for you metal spur gear and drive pinions metal diff gear and diff pinions Metal front CVD shafts, metal rear dog bones, metal rear wish, uh, wheel shafts, metal diff cups, outer and inner, aluminum shocks, metal center diff and diff cups, and a wheelie bar. And they went ahead and uh, also, I believe, provided some lights for this truck. Now, you can see from the tape, I haven't cracked it open yet. I'm going to pull it over to the side and open it up and throw the open box back on the desk because I am with limited room here to try to open this box on this thing. Okay, so here it is. Pop that off of there. Pop this one off of there. Ooh, that is a nice bag of accessories and parts. Put that over to the side for now. And yeah, with... I've been liking this new packaging style, too, because you don't have to cut a whole bunch of uh, nylon zip ties to get into your stuff. I open this up. And look at that. <laughs> this thing comes with paddle tires. Full-size radio. And the other set of paddle tires. Okay, I said it made it the greatest uh, RC truck because it... Said speeding for joy on the front. As before, I hope in the paddle tires. I love paddle tires. And it looks like a 12 millimeter hex. Oh yeah, those are nice. Those uh, those are gonna hold up pretty good, I think. And it looks like they're just a tiny bit smaller, which you actually want with your paddle tires because your paddle tires take so much more out of your vehicle. They uh, they really pull on your uh, voltage a lot harder because they just dig in so much. So it, it causes a lot more strain on everything. So a little bit smaller makes it a little bit easier for it to do its work. At least in the, my opinion and dealings. So you get a nice set of paddle tires with this thing and that's awesome. We'll slide these guys to the back. And okay, I've owned these radios before. They come with a lot of their vehicles. Uh, they're not a bad radio. They are a hard plastic wheel, but they're not uncomfortable. They're a fairly comfortable radio. And it should take th three in the back. Yeah, three. They got three double A's goes in the back. Let's slide that back in there. And they're not a bad radio. And it has all your steering trims, your uh, steering and drive proportional. For your uh, you know your your dual rates and then you got your top end speed adjustment as well moving on to the truck that is a good looking body it doesn't have any of the funky stuff on it and they do give you the sticker so you can decide on you know what what you want to put on it and what you don't you get a decent sticker sheet with it but the vehicle itself that's just a pretty good looking little vehicle. Well, let's do a drop test. Oh, that makes the plop. That's usually what I'm looking for. Let's go up even higher. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Let's pull these body pins off. And from what it looks like to me, can, for the size of these trucks, these would probably be about the same as a big bore shock. These are very large shocks for this truck. 
And there we go. Look at that. The size of those shocks is absolutely massive. And well, you just saw how well they worked and it did have a battery in it. So we have a brushless motor, uh, ESC speed controller combo. And check this out. This is one of the things we as hobbyists love to see. A three wire servo. All, yeah, everything's metal like they said it was. And, oh, wow, look back there. It looks like it even has, I think it's got metal hexes sitting behind the wheels. Let's have our, oh, I'm going to have to put the big handle on. They got those things cranked down. There we go. Yeah, metal hexes behind the wheels. That'd be, oh, yes, they are. Yeah, we got some aluminum hexes behind the wheels. That is great. That little pin before it gets hidden on me. We'll slide that over to the side. And let's see what else comes in the bag. I, I told you this thing was packed full of goodness. We just keep finding more and more cool stuff as we dig through it. Well, our other bag of accessories. Those all dumped out. We have another battery, and this is a 25C, 1,000 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt lithium polymer. So we got, we got a LiPo battery going on. So you get two of those. That is great. I normally get, I've got a couple of their other brushless trucks. I get about 15 minutes of runtime out of them. And it also includes two chargers. So you can get both your batteries up and charging at the same time. Or if you have a professional style hobby charger, the even though the Deans isn't my connector of choice, it is a hobby grade connector and it's widely accepted in the RC community as a very common connector that we all use. So the fact they went with a connector that is very accessible for most people, that is a great idea and more companies should pay attention to that. You also get, looks like a little nylon tail spoiler, wing, whatever you wanna call it. And that guy just bolts on with uh, two screws, which are included in the corner of this bag. But I'm just going to lay them over here so I don't lose them. I'm not going to open these. I'm just going to show you. You get more than a full set. You get a set and a half of wheel nuts in case you lose them. And it looks like an entire set. Well, more than an entire set of your little uh, key pins that go behind your wheel nuts. And you get a wheelie bar. Now they say this is a free gift. It is the wheelie bar and the lights. They said you had to install the lights yourself on the outside of the box when I was reading through, but they are pre-installed right there. I can see the wires running back. Okay, it gives you a little short pictorial instruction on how to install your wing. A screwdriver, and then the screws you need are in the bag. Or, or uh, same with your wheelie bar. Sorry, we we're looking at that at the moment. Oh, the screws for that are in the bag. And, oh, this looks like a pretty easy install. Looks like, yeah, the slides on the back. You'll probably have to remove, yep, you'll have to remove this tailstock piece that holds your pins in for your A-arms. That'll slide in and replace that. And then your other two screws will go right here. Nice and simple. Now that shouldn't be a big deal at all, and you will have a wheelie bar. And here we go. About high boxing. This is new. I haven't seen this before. Okay. Uh, I don't have that one, but I've got every other truck on this page. There's the one we have. Uh, the protector... That was probably the first one I loved by high boxing. That thing, I've still got it. It still runs great. Got both of these guys. I do not have this one yet, though. All right, I've got this guy. Got that guy. Don't have these two yet. Oh, I like that. That's a good looking truck. Yeah, they have uh, more trucks than I even realized. Ooh, they got drift cars? I didn't even know they made drift cars. And a monster truck. Why, why aren't we seeing more of this stuff pop up? And a crawler? 
And that looks like the same thing as like a Red Cat Danshi Ridge Rock. I didn't even know that they made this. It'd be like the same thing as a oh an FTX Ravine, a Red Cat uh, Ridge Rock. That is really cool. I I, I hope to the tumbler. I'm gonna have to look that up. I want that. And a couple more buggies. And wow, they got another crawler sitting back here. Man, I wish a, a nitro. I did what? When did they start making nitros? There's there's two nitros sitting here. A bunch of brushless on-road cars, crawlers. I'm telling you, keep an eye on this company. They've been doing nothing but growing and doing great stuff since the moment I started dealing with them. And they've been moving forward since long before I found them. Wow. Then, you know. It tells the story. They got started, I guess, in uh, 2003. Well, we'll have to look at a uh, better look at that later. But that that's really cool. That is that's a nice that they included that you know kind of uh, Sears style shopping catalog along with uh, a little bit of history. And I did not know they made all those trucks. I want to try those crawlers out big time. A good set of instructions which they normally have excellent instructions. If I move further towards the back, we're probably going to find some exploded views. There we go. I mean, they have excellent exploded views. If you ever need to work on their vehicles, almost all the parts are available all the time. And if that exact part's not available, a lot of their stuff is interchangeable between vehicles in their instructions. And exploded views are always really good. Um, I've never had any problems modifying or working on these vehicles just because they give you so much information to work with. Yeah, well, you can write some notes down in the back if you want. But okay, enough about that. So let's get this thing out and run it. I know this is going to be a long video, but I believe something like this deserves a, a thorough and fair look. So let's check it out. So I went out for the initial run and I was having a problem going left. If you can see right there, the servo arm from the bell cranks over on this side is hitting against the ESC and that's what is binding me up. Uh, this is just a small factory defect, nothing big. It should have been mounted back here all the way, but it got placed forward. So I'm just going to pop it up, put a piece of new piece of double sided tape, slide it back and we should be fine. Right, everybody we have made it out to our test site it is like 29 degrees fahrenheit uh we're getting gust up to 25 30 miles an hour and this is the best day we have had so we're gonna run this thing and sorry about the music but i just can't deal with the wind noise so uh let's rock
Well, we are back from the first run, and <laughs> I'm impressed. You saw this thing flew, right? This thing flies nice and straight, and it just lands so smooth. Even off those big jumps, it had about like one bounce off the front end. Sometimes it just didn't even do that. It just, <laughs> it's like we're throwing it plop. And controllability, sliding around in that abandoned baseball field, it drove great. So it had great control of that. The four-wheel drive really helps keep it straightened out when you are you don't spin out and lose control. And in the air, uh, the controllability is pretty good too. And I found out, you know, after the first jump, uh, pretty much figured out what I had to do to keep it level. And just about like any other RC, once you find out it's sweet spot, it, you can really just make it go. And this thing, it's it's pretty easy to find. So when you uh, go fly, and I just noticed if I let off the trigger just a little bit about mid jump, she level right out. I'm I'm super super impressed with that. But I am going to be leaving a link for this, and really you can't go wrong. Uh, I think after yeah the the credit they were doing right now was right around one hundred twenty dollars for this thing, and you can't get that from another brand. There's not a whole lot of other brands out there that are offering this much truck for 120 bucks or even if uh, you, you don't find it on sale and it's 130, 140, what even I think anywhere under 200 is probably pretty reasonable for a brushless truck with all metal everything, two batteries, two sets of tires, two chargers, uh the paddle tires were an excellent addition. I mean, this thing just has a ton, a ton of options. You could buy this as a beginner or somebody who is very versed in the RC world, like myself. I I probably have, if I look around in a circle, I've probably got 75 vehicles sitting around me. And this would hang with any of my other bashers. It does a, a very good job. I really like the way it controls. And I'm just really impressed with it, guys. So, I'm going to leave a link for this in the description below. Christmas is coming up. If you want to get somebody something that I think they'll enjoy on any level, no matter whether you're a hobby grade RCist or a beginner, this is probably going to make you smile when you drive it. So, that being said, I will catch you all later. Have an excellent day, and I will catch you on the next video.